Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about Eternal Masters and what the expected value is. I'm going off the value from Goldfish MTG and I will have the link below. So the pricing was a lot lower than I expected. If you pay $10 MSRP and there's 24 packs and it's around $240 to $250 with tax, you can expect to lose about $50 for every box you buy. And that's actually extremely bad. So we're going to take a look at the Mythics. On average, the Mythics are $22.49. On average, the Rares are $3.65. Uncommons being $1.37 and the Commons being $0.50. Cents. We also included the Bulk, which the large majority of the Commons, Uncommons, and their Bulk. 300 of the cards are, are Bulk. And then the foils are added on too. So this is the entire value of what you can expect when you open a box or when you buy a case. It's a lot lower because 250 is the cheapest I've ever seen Eternal Masters for, including Texas tax, which is like $8, 8%. And it is brutal. Uh, you buy a box of this for 240 250 and you lose $50 every box you buy. So the total box expected value is uh, slightly over $200. The pack value is $8.34. And then you multiply that around free and then you get $25 for it when you're drafting it. So I, the prices I've seen are ridiculous for the set. Uh, I've seen drafts go up to $40. People at, in Houston, I'm not going to call them out, but they want $40 for the midnight draft, which is, in my opinion, insane. Uh, and there's no prize support. There's just like a redraft type of deal. Now, cases are just absurd. These cases are, are boxes or whatever they are. They're not selling from MSRP. So it's one thing to lose $50 and that's reasonable. But when you're buying a box for $300, $400 uh, or $300, I'd say $300 is the average price then to get $200 of value, you're losing a tremendous, you're losing $100, bo $100 a box, which to me is insane. It's just not uh, logical. It doesn't really make too much sense. And you might be like, oh, well, no one's going to buy if it's too expensive. No, they pretty much hyped this product in the beginning with all the good cards. And then I knew this always happens and all the crap comes in later. All the other 300 plus bulk cards come later after the good ones are hyped and given to uh, sponsors or given to um, promoters, uh, people who support Wizards of the Coast. And then, I mean, $299, $300, I mean, that's disgusting to me for a box that right now is 200 It's going to drop. It will drop significantly after it's released. Who knows what it ends up being. I, t My honest opinion is not to buy this box and um, especially if you have any financial difficulties because this won't allow you to play magic any better and you will lose a tremendous amount of trade value which you could just you know go to a store and buy cards that uh, your trade partner needs and you would be well you would be much better off doing that than buying a box of eternal masters